Everyone looks costumes. really good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what about fancy pants over here? Can we get a round of applause for this? Oh, thanks, girl. Yeah. Stop. If you have a tie, come over and touch his jacket. Do. It, yeah, it's very nice. All right, we have someone really fancy here, though. Yes, we do. Now, I've nicknamed her Beyonce mm -hmm. because she is like... Queen B of politics. Mm -hmm. She is. She is. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please welcome to the stage Premier Rachel Notley. Beyonce! Okay. I don't know how many of you have someone that follows you around calling you Beyonce every time he runs into you. But like I run into him a lot, and I, the way I know he's there is suddenly I hear someone yelling, Beyonce! <laughs> it's very weird, I have to say. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, thank you, Mike, for that lovely uh, introduction, and Nancy. And uh, good evening, everybody, all you great, great heroes for Zero. Thank you so much for coming out here tonight. I want to say you all look fabulous. I love the uh, superhero costumes. I, you know, I, I didn't really quite get that memo, and I just, I, I love them. Like, it's really good in hindsight. So maybe next year I will have my own sort of uh, superhero costume because you guys look great, and I'm inspired. Um, and uh, is, this is definitely going to be the funnest run that's happening today, this one here, you guys. So... I'm happy to join you today on the traditional Treaty 6 territory uh, for the Treaty 6 First Nations and in my home constituency of Edmonton, Strathcona. And it is, of course, great to be here on this 25th anniversary of the Edmonton's Aid Walk and the inaugural and first ever superhero run. Now, I think we've probably all heard the uh, Chinese proverb at one point or another about a journey of a thousand miles that begins with a single step. 25 years ago, the journey to a better future for those suffering from AIDS must have seemed like at least a thousand miles long. It was a different world then, and although things were beginning to change at the time, there was still plenty of prejudice and misunderstanding about the nature of HIV and AIDS. And there was still a great deal of ignorance that was directed towards those who were affected. Most of all, there was a feeling, I think sometimes, of hopelessness that hung in the air whenever the subject of AIDS came up. And hopelessness is, in my view, a little bit like a disease in and of itself, and it's often the worst condition of many. Luckily, the AIDS Network of Edmonton had come together some years before, and in 1991, they inaugurated the AIDS Walk to get awareness out there where it belongs in our community. Community has been key. It has been key to the progress that we have seen in the treatment and the control of HIV and AIDS. And of course, there have been some very, very important medical advances in the past 25 years. They've made HIV more of a chronic condition than this death sentence that it seemed like at the time. But achieving that kind of progress with a life-threatening diagnosis is not just a matter of medicine. Just as important as good medical care is good community care. Community care includes the opportunity for those affected to talk to someone who has faced the diagnosis and is living with the condition. It involves the chance to express fears and concerns in an atmosphere of understanding. And it offers the support of people who can help a person move forward, make plans for the future, get over the obstacles of adjusting to life after diagnosis. Community care means there's a group to speak up, to say it's okay to talk about HIV and AIDS and to deal with it openly with love to help demystify the disease and bring forward the human face of all those who have been affected. And so for over 30 years, the women and men of HIV Edmonton have been the foundation of that community. So the superhero aspect of today's event is quite inspired, really. What is a superhero except someone who is capable of superhuman achievement? So much of what HIV Edmonton does creates a truly enormous difference in the lives of their clients. And it goes way beyond the efforts of the people involved, way beyond the services they provide. It goes to that issue of hope. 
and it is with enduring hope for a better future. A future without HIV infection, new HIV infections, without stigma and dis discrimination, and without AIDS-related deaths that we gather here today. It is also in memory of those whose journeys ended too soon, and we carry them in our hearts today. I want to thank HIV Edmonton for organizing this event once again. I want to thank the volunteers, the sponsors, all of you participating today in the walk and the superhero run, and all of you who are here to cheer them on. In this journey of a thousand miles, you have helped to bring us a long, long way. Keep looking down the road, keep moving forward, have a wonderful run, have a wonderful walk, and celebrate who you are, and thank you all for being out here tonight. Thank you.